In Africa, if you're in the southern part of the continent, you'll be around lush vegetation. Rainforests and jungles are quite common. In the northern part of the African continent, however, you have a completely different environment and climate, an area that has been ravaged and become deserts. These differences are vast, so vast in fact that the Sahara Desert in northern Africa is so large that it can swallow Spain 18 times over. That's massive! This is so large that it covers one-third of the entire African continent. The desert also includes a massive amount of sand dunes that cover about 15% of the Sahara Desert. Other topographical features include mountains, plateaus, sand and gravel-covered plains, salt flats, and more. According to scientists, this massive desert wasn't actually a desert thousands of years ago, but instead, it was a massive rainforest. What happened that made it change so drastically? Part of the reason the Sahara became a desert. One of the main reasons said to have turned the Sahara into the Sahara Desert was logging operations in the region that over time deforested the region. Similar to logging operations going on right now in and near the Amazon rainforest. The issue with logging operations is that they not only remove plants, species, tries, and botanical variety, but it also quite literally destroys biodiversity within regions. The footprint of humans, machines, chemicals, and disruption of natural ecosystems such as soil and movement patterns in that region can do more damage than we realize. Yet another reason the Sahara became a desert. Another reason that the Sahara became a desert was because farmers in the area were overgrazing grasses in regions with cattle. This caused less moisture in regions over time simply because the wildlife that holds moisture in this region was being eaten up by animals. By overgrazing the grasses, they were reducing the amount of atmospheric moisture. David Wright these nomadic humans in this region may have used fire as a method to be a land management tool, which could have exacerbated the speed of things happening in the region. Guess what else they found in the Sahara Desert? Believe it or not, they dug up a lot of interesting artifacts, bones, and more within this region. It's interesting how animals in the region evolved. They were land mammals that became aquatic as they moved into the water, and as the water reduced, and the desert became to form, they could no longer sustain that lifestyle in the water. How the Sahara Desert is connected to the lost city of Atlantis. Believe it or not, there is a connection between the Sahara Desert and the lost city of Atlantis. This takes us to what is known as the Eye of the Sahara, which represents quite literally a magic bullseye. Take a look at what the Eye of the Sahara looks like here. Don't you think that this looks like something straight out of an Indiana Jones film? The Eye of the Sahara is also known as the Guelb Er Rishat. This ancient archaeological marking in the Sahara Desert represents a massive bullseye. This stretches across a 40 kilometers region of the desert. For centuries, only few local tribes knew about the formation. It was first photographed in the 1960s by the Gemini astronauts. They used it as a landmark to track the progress of their landing sequences. Later, another satellite took images of it and provided information on its size, height, and extent. It was thought that the eye of the Sahara was created from an impact from something slamming into the surface of the Earth from space. However, once the studies from the rock inside the structure came back, they found out that this geologic dome is actually Earth-based. They have measured a lot by the layers in the rock, and it contains many different types of stones. There is another explanation for the Eye of the Sahara. The search for Atlantis has been on for the longest time, something that completely vanished from society. Many people have searched the ocean and believe it was covered in water. A YouTuber, however, believes that the Eye of the Sahara matches the size and shape of what Plato said the city of Atlantis was. The mountains, rivers, and other placements in the region based on archaeology do seem to line up with the ancient city of Atlantis also. It also lines up with the date that the city of Atlantis had alleged to have disappeared. If you look at the Eye of the Sahara, there are many mysterious correlations that apply to it. Interesting clay pottery was found in the region also. These objects were not used by the Egyptians living by the Nile. This was clay that was used in another culture nearby. 
So much still remains to be explored in the region. What do you think? There are many questions that have yet to be discovered when it comes to the massive, albeit mysterious, Sahara Desert. Our vast oceans have always captivated us with their immense beauty and mysteries. But what if I told you that scientists have now uncovered the possibility of a new ocean emerging, one that could even give birth to an entirely new continent? It's a groundbreaking revelation that ignites our sense of wonder and fuels our imagination. Could a new ocean form in Africa? Yes, but it would take millions of years, geologists say, and a lot of help from other land features on the continent. East Africa Rift System The rift that split in 2005 is part of the much larger East Africa Rift System, ERs, a network of rifts and valleys that first appeared about 25 million years ago as the first apes were evolving in Africa. Over time, the system branched out and spread south to where it ends today in Mozambique near the Indian Ocean. Along the way, ears skirted Lake Victoria by splitting into two different paths, tectonic plates. Shifting, shifting tectonic plates underlie the system, including the Somali plate to the east, the large African or Nubian plate, and the Arabian plate to the northeast. Caught in the middle of these massive slabs of land is the smaller Victorian plate, which is made of harder stuff and sits like a rock in a geologic stream. As the rift expands, Sections of the Somali plate could drift out to the Indian Ocean and open up a narrow sea within the continent. Like Tanganyika. Some of the valleys within ERs have already filled with water, most notably Lake Tanganyika, the second deepest lake in the world. The rest could one day fill with ocean water as they sink lower, but that would take the aforementioned millions of years. Remember it has taken over 30 million years for the crust thickness around the Rift Valley to reduce from 40 kilometers to 35 kilometers. Geologist Edwin Dindy told the New Times newspaper, meaning that it will take many more years to shed off another 5 kilometers. For this to happen, the African and Somali plates must divide a great deal further, but they're currently separating at a rate of up to 0.5 inches a year. Ocean Odds for Rift Valleys other forces could slow the separation and lead to a failed rift, one that fills with sediment instead of water and stagnates. Dindi points to a failed rift in Kenya, while the most famous example, the Mid-Continent Rift, runs for about 1,800 miles through Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Michigan, and contains billion-year-old rocks. Volcanic eruptions spilled massive amounts of basalt on the land, but North America refused to divide. Other researchers have cautioned against naming a new ocean just yet, however high the hopes. A 2020 study questions Islay's conclusion that the rift amounted to an oceanic one or something close. Whether these modern zones are the direct precursors to oceanic spreading centers remains unresolved. And the Paleomap project run by geologist Christopher Scotese, which maps future and past tectonic plates, predicts that over 100 million years, the Somali and African plates will stay together and collide with Europe and Asia to create a huge landmass. Can you believe it? A new ocean teeming with undiscovered marine life and a landmass waiting to emerge from the depths. It's like something out of a science fiction movie, but this time, it's happening right here on our planet. Thank you for joining us on this exploration into the Africa's mysterious discoveries. To stay updated on the latest discoveries, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.